Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa has received a letter from the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. Guterres expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his role in promoting peace, progress and prosperity in the Kingdom of Bahrain and at the international level through his UN adopted International Day of Conscience initiative. The UN chief praised the importance and goals of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and fostering peace, love and freedom of religion. The UN Secretary General also welcomed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's invitation to him to visit the Kingdom of Bahrain. Education Minister, a Higher Education Council President Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi participated in the ninth meeting of the GCC Higher Education and Scientific Research Ministers Committee in Masqat, Oman. The Minister of Education of Oman, Malia. Bint Ahmed Al Shaybani has or Shaybaniya has started or stated the ceremony with a speech where she praised the efforts of the Bahraini ministers of education in promoting joint educational work in order to achieve the society or the society's aspiration for progress and development. The director for education and skills and special advisor on education policy to the secretary general at the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development presented the main challenges facing education in light of the four industrial revolution and the requirements of the 21st century as well as some uh, success stories and the policies required to make the most of digital technology in the educational field. Then the Arab Bureau of Education for the Gulf States Director General Dr. Ali bin Abdul Khaliq Al Qarni presented a progress uh, report on uh, the implementation of the Bureau's uh, programs, pointing out that the Bureau, in coordination with Bahrain's Ministry of Education and the International Society, will implement during the coming period an important training program in the field of ICT, which is set to benefit 100 Bahraini teachers. The President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, Sheikh Amey bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the 23rd meeting of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC of Foreign Ministers, and the second joint meeting between the GCC Culture and Tourism Ministers. The GCC Culture Ministers meeting was shared by the Omani Heritage and Culture Minister, His Highness uh, Sayyid Haytham bin Tariq Al Said, in the presence of the GCC Ministers in charge of cultural affairs and with the participation of GCC Secretary General. Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani. In a statement, Sheikh May asserted that the GCC Culture Minister's meeting reflects the strong uh, civilizational and cultural relations among people of the region. She added that the meeting is an opportunity to renew and unify efforts to consolidate the national GCC identity through culture and common human heritage. PACA President pointed out that uh, the Kingdom is taking advantage of culture to enhance the sustainable development process through efforts to preserve and revive historical towns such as Harag and Manama. She indicated that Bahrain has succeeded in placing itself on the map of important cultural centers, citing the kingdom's recent winning of 2019 Aga Khan Award for Architecture for the BACA's revitalization of Maharag project. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence in cooperation with This is Bahrain held a ceremony in honor of the UK Prime Minister's Special Envoy for Freedom of Religion or Belief, Rahman Christi, on the occasion of his visit to Bahrain for the first time since taking up his new position. UK Prime Minister's Special Envoy paid a visit to religious sites across the kingdom including mosques, matams and churches as well as the Hindu temple of Srinathji in Manama which is considered one of the oldest in the history of the region. He also visited Awali to see uh, the work site of, building, of the building of the largest Catholic church in the region. He affirmed that Bahrain is one of the top countries when it comes to achieving the values of tolerance and coexistence. He also expressed pride in his visit and stressed that the Bahraini model shows the world that terrorism has nothing to do with Muslims and that Bahrain, under a Muslim and Arab leader, seeks to spread the values of peace and coexistence. UK Prime Minister Special Envoy affirmed that Bahrain's history in spreading peace and coexistence among religions is a model that should be followed on the international level and that Bahrain exerts all its efforts to achieve this noble goal under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Prime Minister's Special Envoy visits a number of places of worship for various religious religions in Bahrain.